Clap hands for Jesus, somebody. Glorify Jesus. Over the world. We are back with a testimony session. We want to introduce you to a big testimony. We are going to listen to our sister for what God has done unto her life. But before we listen to her testimony, we want to watch a preview on how what happened or how come for her to be delivered. We have our sister here. She's 28 years. She needs healing. Uh, she's having, uh, she has got breast cancer. Uh, uh, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. Then they cut the, the breast off. And then it came back again. She experienced pain. Went back to the hospital. Then the doctor diagnosed cancer again. Uh, she, she is suffering from gastric. Uh, she's the way they buy the doctor wants to operate her on her throat and she refused she has a growing mass in the nose and another one developing on the left arm let's eat let's eat let's eat if it's visible please if it is visible this is a ball. It's in the It's inside, but you can feel it. Can we allow her? Is it a lamp? A lamp. You can feel the one on the arm. Yes. Is it a lamp or lamp? Lamp. lamp. Come on. Have you come have your way to the clinic? Hallelujah. Amen. Come have your way. Have your way. Welcome to the Hospital. Lady Father. Oh, Hallelujah. Yeah. Your grace is sufficient. So they will come here and say, Do you open Lady Father? Say, This is a church. Eh? Do you know, get it's a term, term um, of association. You want to associate with the hospital because Jesus is a doctor. Asho. Isn't it true? Grace. Advise you to go to their hospital and go find out yourself. She is ah. going back on the 28th of July. 28th of July, thank God. Sandura, because by that time we are trusting the healing of our Lord Jesus. The doctor. We have another emergency of a 36 year old. Hilia Hidengwa. Ilia Hidengwa seeking for healing. Takongo Erudo. She has a painful um a breast. She Okune has a lamp. Ha Having a lamp as well. Enoshitumba. And men of God, they are sisters. Yeah? Yeah, they are Yo sisters. Come. And she's... Can you see that? Yeah? We have a we have, faith, we have an excuse that they will not come for foundational deliverance. <laughs> The lamb just went to the same breast that was cut off for 10 years. For 10 years. When I got my first child, my first child, my 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 Hallelujah. 
Sinarovaila Sholateka, Katunasha to Puningi, Karai Kopa to Kupe Kopanato. Just be the Uru Panato, Apoiko Panato. You are just given Panato. Then in the Kupa anointing a problem. When I give you an anointing, is it, is it a problem? I watch how people live. Look what people are passing through. Tarakan to Stapi Tiremusho. On the Futa. I've paid this one $1,000. One $1, I've paid this one $1,000. Yeah, so they can come and tell lies. And all those that testified. Isn't it true? Yes. We have our sister. We have watched the preview. How our two sisters were delivered with the grace water. Is they were seated on the emergency chairs that were there. Now let's listen to the testimony. My sister, tell us your name, where you from, and your beautiful testimony. Good morning, my sister. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Rosaria. I'm a resident of Widu. I want to give my testimony. I have been in pain for 10 years of a breast. It's 10 years that I've been in pain of a breast. Until it came when I was pregnant. I, I started growing a, a tumor or a lump in a breast. In 2011. It started 2011. This, this lamp has been there. As I became pregnant, the tumor started growing, but they cannot see it. And the doctor continued to tell me that I should just breastfeed. The milk are fine. I have been in pain when I'm breastfeeding. And I stopped the child from breastfeeding on one breast. And breastfeeding only on one. The baby grew and I stopped breastfeeding. And 2015, the lamp started growing back again. I went to the hospital. The doctor discovered or diagnosed it. And they started treating me until it disappeared. 2017, the lamp came back again. I went back to the hospital. They sent me for x ray. And they said they are taking a biopsy. Or a, just a piece of the flesh. When they took a biopsy, the lamp started to grow faster. And it, she started swelling up first until the heart. I have been in pain. I cannot sleep during the night. It, start, it usually starts when I'm going to sleep. I've been going up and down to the hospital. Maybe I can go to the hospital three days a week, just in the night. The doctor said they cannot do anything to me because the machines are not working. I will only be receiving panando. Just to relieve pain until the machines are fine. 
He has been Paris, I'm in pain, and there's no help at all. I decided, let me go to the north. And I went to Anandjokwa Hospital to give my story again. I continued in prayer. Until the Lord has heard my prayer and told the doctor to operate me. I was operated at Onanjokwe and they make a hole in the breast. That hole has been there for three months. I'm just used to go for dressing. They say they are sending me to a Shakati intermediate. Whereby I was on treatment. In 2019, they cut off the breast. And they changed me to come to Widow. I came in Widow and I was still on my treatment. I was not having any hair on my head. My nails were dead. My whole body was changed. I've been in Widow for my treatments. And I continue to call the name of the Lord. I have been fine. And the cancer got disappeared. And it came back again. When it came back, it came in a form of fibroids again. The doc, I have been telling the doctor, but they are saying it just names. And I went back again. The doctor changed my treatment. My hairs were growing, but when I started with this treatment, the hair again. A lot when they saw me, even my housemates were afraid of me. Because they were used of me with hairs on the head. I was not having the eyebrows. I was not having any hair on my body. The nails still were dead. People hated me and my own family hated me. My, my sister, tell us who is the sister beside you. My sister beside you. Tell us who is the sister beside you. I continued going to the hospital. My sister tell us, we know this is a very emotional testimony. We want, us, we want you to tell us who's the sister seated beside you. Uh, I came with my sister. This is our third time to come here. Clap hands for Jesus. To come to church for the third time and she received such a healing. Clap hands for Jesus. Glorify Jesus, somebody. My sister, tell us what can you say about your sister who was healed? Uh, I'm grateful my sister has been passing through a lot of pain and all that she's saying is all true.
Kwale limo ya ambe kwa nene na ndenge noe mwana. Kwale tonji mwale la shida mpia shida. Lipa mbila kalunga shia veru kandi kitangu. She was in that pain and I'm thanking God that she is now well. Because the time she was sick, we cannot even recognize who was she. Clap hands for Jesus. My sister, tell us those papers that are on the board. What can you tell us about those documents that we can see on the screen? Mwame mekaza na tulo mbwela ano mbapila yathika tuatara dhiriko shipele nte shika or the shike. Mbapila tange, pene mbapila imweta imonika shindata meka kukwa tuwa kwa kansa. One paper is showing how this cancer gets to... Show us that document. For the sake of the viewers that are watching us, those are the documents. Living testimony. This was the first paper or the result of Sona. Of the breast and the, of this one was showing that I have lumps or fibroids in me. Mo twenty eight as in Dashon Agospangel or Medua Jago twenty twenty. On the twenty eighth of last month, when I went back, Conimaya Shinda in the Copra Raina Shinda Mangurua. After my prayer, Rain, as I got or received my deliverance, Shompia Omenachu Nashinaku Karanawa. When the man of God declared that it shall be well, Oijeme Angenda Jago Nayonji. This is the paper or result that I got back. Let me ask for Jesus. What does the result say? Is the mumbi kau tai tinggi ni meme? The results are saying my breast are free and my stomach is free. Someone must read it first. Someone must read that paper. Who may not let Sharamba pilanjika? At the point where Pacific is saying something. Hallelujah. This is cancer healed. Amen. It says here the findings that the liver is normal in size. Mm -hmm. And yeah. The normal what? The and liver is normal in size, now. meaning the liver is fine. Both kidneys are also fine. And the pancreas are also normal in size. And So that's how the, the, the lamps look up first. Hallelujah. Let's see up first. Where is the nurses? Come, go there. Nurse, go there. Nurse and nurse. A nurse must go there. Come, nurse. That way. Nurse, the other nurse, come. That is uh, already. Or a doctor. Is a, do we have a doctor here today? Do we have a doctor here today? I want us to explain. Explain for us that thing before and after. Very important. Amen. She wants to bring a cat also. Come, nurse. Doctor. Hallelujah. Tell us especially that picture there. Up. That is showing us the lamp. Just a minute. Just read. The picture. What is it? Okay. That shows that we, there is. Lamps. This is something else. Thyroids. Meme, this is let the lady explain herself. It's not for the give, 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 uh, give, give, uh, give the mic to the lady herself. My Meme. No, you get a lot of line on topic. Hallelujah. Some people can say that it's maybe our own work we forged that we can create up pictures. 
with our computers. Everyone can go to a computer and take out a picture. People can think that we can take pictures from medias or with our own computer to create them up. Asho. So let's see proof from the card and everywhere. Hallelujah. Give the mic to the lady. Talk. Don't confuse the lady, please. Uh, next, if you don't get the information, can she just proceed? Sister, tell us what is in your documents. As the paper is shown oh. here, give her the cards. These results are showing that there was a lump or a fibroid in her bladder. And the breast also when cancer get back into my breast. And when I got gastric that was causing the The doctor said they only give me treatment or medication. I'm not going to do it. Glory Jesus. In her passport, there's a date of admission in the hospital on the 9th of September 2019. And she was discharged on the 13th of September, 2019. It says, a female known with invasive ductal carcinoma. It means the, the carcinoma was in the duct, in the breast. And the it cancer, was, cancer. Yeah, go, go, go where she got the healing. Hallelujah. Amen. Is it in the cut? Is it the cut? The final results? Is it also in the cut? Let's see. Let's. Hallelujah. It shows that she was at the hospital and they have Amen. found out that she is well now. Just show us the, the card because everyone will not believe. It said, which miracle? Grace water miracle? Hallelujah. Look how thick is that cut. Amen. Hallelujah. Look at the thickness of the cut. My sister, we want to see the final result as it's displayed on the board. Kindly may the nurse read for us the final results. Uh -huh. Thank you. Let us go, Jesus. So, these are the results to confirm that the fibroid is there or disappeared completely. The completely. They also remitted me from eating. They gave me food, telling, telling me what food should I eat and how much should I eat a day. And now these are the papers that confirm that all that I was remitted to eat is back. Even that they said I should not eat again. They said I should eat it now. Go to the stem so we can see which was the top. Now in that post stem was Pangel. Show the, show the hospital where these papers are coming. We want to see the hospital stamp for no. clarity's sake. Or their head letter, whatever head letter. Show, show, show. Zoom it today. Hallelujah. Let's see their letterhead. Where this paper is coming from.
because I can also write it. Amen. But uh, let the head of me explain it more. Amen. Where is it coming from? Look at that. Hallelujah. She got her foot back. Glorify Jesus. And the date of sign. Go, go back. Go back. Let's see. The people have all those. A signature earlier. Whose name is that? It's for the doctor. Now, when again, why come to the can go? Who are those people that uh, doubt? Go to that name. You can see the other one, the other signature for the doctor. Manako Kuho Corolla and Bapila, this is the other one. This paper. On Bapila and Gino, and a year. Yashang, but more twenty seven, I am my John. On the Ranga and Diga, I go my father, no, I'm in Diga, I go stand there. This was the paper. Pay for the Nego stand there. I pay for stand there, it and Diga was. No more, I'm not going to theater again. You can see it clear on the screen. As you can see it on the screen. Very clear. Explain my sister. Nalega kwalihan do drugu kirilandi kufoshi mashiri popale ilondi tumbesa. Paifandi drugu kirile ilondi kufoshi mashiri popale ilondi tumbesa. Usually I cannot also stay. Glorify Jesus. Usually I cannot also stand straight to take something higher than my head or down. But now I can do this. And down. Can you walk? Can you jump? Can you scream for Jesus? Glory be to God. Clap your hands for Jesus. Clap your hands for Jesus. My sister, tell us, how did you come to this church where you came to get your deliverance? Ndelimona Ndalo mbwe lo sister yange ali liko shuakopo. Ndi lo mbwe na yo ina evele talivele mararokali na shano kansi. Talivele geli no shitumbo kala ninge duratio nongo na ino. I get to know this ministry through Facebook. I have been following it, seeing the deliverance, the prayer line and everything. So I invited also my sister from Suakop, who has the problem of a blessed pain also with a ramp. But they did not diagnose cancer in her yet. Clap hands for Jesus, somebody. My sister, what can you tell the viewers and they that are here today? In fact, maybe they are here for the first time. What can you tell them? Mematalinengebokaelimaka <laughs> Venda Munjira and Gashidenda Muyo, and the Mutwe Gong Kumo Kucha, Ilenipe Mati Domene, Deta Mutwe, Gorendeta Muyanjo, and Nara Munyono Mawehame, and Nico Mene, Ungasha Popta Chan, Figuloma Mafigo Temu Mangurula, Gasha Mangurulange. Heavens for Jesus, my sister, as we saw on the preview on the video footage, we saw you were delivered with the grace water. What can you tell the viewers and they that are here for the first time about the grace water that have healed you from a deadly disease? On the whole group of the Alushe, we are John Kumos to Sangekucha. Omeno Papopia Kucha of Fanenge Tinarange, 
lo mama fiko andi ke mu mangulu lande to ka njumba ke wanga shande njumba go kololo i like to say it's written that for those that are in problem call unto the name of the lord and he shall set us free as he has set me free amande anje ngono komea eneva eko and upon the anointing water go green water o me ene ngono the grace water o kunonjo bo yomwene no hokolola mbagi ngasha ti hokolola nga is powerful Jesus. The grace water is powerful and carrying the the word of God and the testimonies as I am also testifying right now. Viewers all over the world. Wherever you are connecting from. That is the grace water. Empowered by Jesus Christ. Jesus, Jesus told the prophet. Our dear prophet. To release out the grace water. Which have the touch of Jesus. To deliver his people from all challenges of life. Every spiritual challenge, the grace water would deliver you in the name of Jesus. If you are here for the first time, contact the nearest Asha. Contact the nearest Asha. And they will tell you what you how you can acquire the grace water. Viewers at home. Viewers at home. Prayer line number on your screen. Send your message. And they will direct you how you can get your grace water. Distance is not a barrier. Clap hands for Jesus. My sister, we rejoice with you. We thank God for delivering you from a deadly disease that many barely make it in life. We believe that your test, your healing will be permanent in the name of Jesus. The grace water which Jesus Sent, have delivered you. You are a living testimony. Go and tell others what God has done for you. And invite them to come to Christ. Clap hands for Jesus, somebody. Glorify Jesus, somebody.